Hello everyone, this is the introduction to the Get Close photo assignment. Let's get started. Today's objective, you will be able to explain the compositional technique Get Close and understand the corresponding photo assignment. Let's review what is composition. The way components in a photo are arranged to make a compelling and visually pleasing image. And the components of the photo can be things like the subject matter of the photo. In this case, it's a hill in the foreground, a magnificent tree in the middle ground, another hill in the background, and the sky. But there are other components that come that are part of a photo, such as lighting. The way that we talk about the composition of a photo, we use specialized vocabulary called the elements and principles of design. The elements are line, shape, form, color, value, texture, and space. And the principles are balance, movement, rhythm, contrast, emphasis, pattern, and unity. So I'm going to demonstrate how I see the composition of this photo using this vocabulary. One of the first things that pops out to me is the use of texture. So we have this kind of pokey, crunchy grass in the foreground that looks kind of dried out. The leaves on the tree are also creating a nice texture. And very barely visible in the background, I see some nice fluffy clouds. One of the next things that stands out to me is the value. I see dark value in the tree. It's almost black, dark, dark gray. I see a medium gray in the hills and then a really light gray in the sky. The dark gray of the tree contrasts really sharply with the light background. I also notice the neat lines that are created with the trunk and the branches of the tree. I particularly like the line created by the branch on the right, how it swooshes over the top of the hill. They fit together almost like puzzle pieces. It really makes my eye move around actively in that area. Everybody sees different things in a photo. So if you look at this photo and you see different elements and principles, that's okay. Now it's your turn. Write a short, vivid description of this photo. Use some of the terms from below. And this is the list of the elements and principles. So at this point, I would like for you to pause the video. And if you haven't already done so, please open your guided notes and complete this exercise. Let me show you how to get to your guided notes. Here we are in Google Classroom. And I clicked on the Classwork tab. If I scroll down to our unit and click to open the introduction, you can see here are the guided notes. So the first in the guided notes is define composition in your own words. That was slide three. Number two, write a short vivid description of Free Soul by Michael Aboya. And you can write that in this section down here. Number three, list five aspects of get close compositional technique from the presentation. And number four, how many photos do you need to take for this project? Okay, back to the presentation. Get close. You don't necessarily need the whole scene to tell an interesting story. If you look at this photo here, it might make you think of a kitchen. There's a spatula that's see-through, there's a knife, there's different kinds of tart pans, there's a couple of vegetables. We don't need to see the whole kitchen with the countertops and the cabinets and all the appliances to get the idea that it's a kitchen. A couple of things that make this photo particularly interesting are the wavy edge of the tart pans and the way that we can see through some of the objects. Also, the reflection of the colors from the vegetables onto the objects themselves are really interesting. Here are five things to try when you're taking your get close photos. Number one, focus attention. This looks like a series of photos, but the artist wants to focus on the center photo. So everything else is out of focus. 
Show what you think is important in your photo. Number two, eliminate distractions. The first photo is full of ugly distractions and the subject is unclear. So is, is this a, a camping lodge? Is this somebody's vacation photo? What are we supposed to focus on? The second photo clearly shows what the photographer wants the viewer to see. So we have the deer turning around, looking at us, almost making eye contact. We have another deer in the background that's out of focus, and we have it surrounded by these nice green colors. Altogether, a much more successful composition than the first photo. Number three, fill the frame. Number four, make details more visible. Clearly show texture and patterns on small objects. So in this case, we have a lovely velvety rose that has very detailed veins and all of the petals. In the background, we have a piece of wood that has lovely patterns created by the wood grain. Number five, crop by zooming in. The original photo is interesting, but the legs of the piano, the bench, and the man add visual complexity. Is it too much? Maybe. The molding on the ceiling is distracting. Does the photo need it? Maybe not. By zooming in, the photo is simplified to strong shapes. This is the photo that Arnold Newman ended up publishing. It has very strong shapes and a very strong composition. We have kind of a dark gray uh, rectangle behind the subject. We have a lighter gray rectangle that's larger behind the piano. And the piano lid is propped up with a stick. The black shape is making this bold, bold shape. And the stick makes a triangle which is mimicked by Igor Stravinsky um, holding, having his hand um, holding his head. Igor Stravinsky, you may or may not know, is a famous um, is a famous composer, and I linked to a his music if you'd like to listen to um, what he's famous for. So altogether, a very successful photo, very much improved by cropping off unnecessary details. Get close your assignment. Here we go. Take 10 to 20 photos or more. Look around your environment for interesting subjects. You can take your photos at home or at school or a combination of both. Try to find good lighting. Turn them into Google Classroom. Just a reminder, for this part, you'll be graded on 10 photos is a B, 15 is an A minus, and 20 or more is an A. Evaluate your photos carefully. Choose the one with the, with the strongest composition that clearly meets the project criteria. Edit your best photo. Check the levels, exposure, and saturation, and adjust if needed. Consider making creative edits such as black and white, toning, etc. That's up to you. Turn in your best photo to Google Classroom. That's it, everyone. Have fun with this project.